I call it the Black Mamba. What's the what's the backstory behind that name? The Black Mamba. It's a, the Black Mamba lost its eyesight long ago. <laughs> has no has no camera. It's a line of sight quad with a very bright light at the end that I use to see it. Should I be nervous right now? Because I, I should am. Should be nervous. Yeah. <laughs> That's our rental car right there, just so you know. Nicely done. Tim, it's nice to know that you burn a pack a day. How many heads of companies burn a pack a day? All right, so today we find ourselves at in Sarasota, Florida. Sarasota, Florida. Got my buddy Josh here. We got Austin. Hi. And we are at GetFPV and Lumineer at, HQ. At their very new headquarters. Four and a half thousand SKUs right now. It's always growing, you know, Andy's buying new SKUs all the time, and that number just keeps on going up of stuff that we buy and sell. We've always been sort of very focused on constantly innovating, constantly making new products. This gentleman started from his house just like we started from our house too. <laughs> so, I mean, the, the, the story of Lumineer and Flight Test has a very similar growth to it. Yeah. But what's really special is you, you took what was good, which is people connected with each other, no walls, but then also you plan for the future. This is one half of the warehouse. You've already planned right. for a whole second half of the warehouse that you can grow into. You're huh? right. Not everybody gets to go in you, here. You need a card for this. Yeah, you have a, an access key fob. <laughs> and partially it's for um, securing the work that we do in here, yeah. but also securing the people that are working in here. Oftentimes we leave the room and we do certain tests in here. For example, we test very large propellers on this, and when that runs, it sounds like an airplane, you know? Yeah and we clear out the room to, to do these tests. If you guys haven't seen um, the Popo video where you guys were testing out the Popo system. That noise it made yes. it makes you cringe every single time you hear it. Yeah, a lot of destruction going on here. So in this room we have a whole bunch of different 3D printers that we use for very specific purposes. This is our Pride and Joy system over there. That's a 3D systems 3D printer that we use specifically to print a lot of jigs and component parts of machines that we make, like parts like this that are very intricate, that have very specific function, form and That's function. That's 3D printed? That's 3D printed, and it's a sort of medical grade printer uh, that prints um, everything in wax, and then the wax is being melted away in a finishing oven. So oh. it leaves the part without any supports that you have to clean up. So this is how the propeller would come out of the printer. So it's, it looks just like a, a injection molded. Mm -hmm version of a prop would look. So all the wax is being melted away and there's no supports So you have like left. a dual head extrusion, one doing <clears throat> wax for the supports and one coming back with the plastic materials. That's, that's right, so it's, it's sort yeah. of a layer cake of plastic and the actual material. So speaking of props, something really special is you have your own prop guy, I believe his name is Austin? Yeah. And that's incredible. So they're not only, you know, creating their own props here, but they're not outsourcing that. They have a gentleman who's probably what, mid 20s? Yeah, young guy. Austin. Very young smart. Guy. Brilliant, brilliant mind. Yeah. And he is just constantly saying, what is the next motor need, but also design props specifically for that KV and also that flight experience, whether it's freestyle, racing, things like that, right? That's right. And then this obviously has our Popa system on it. This is using a um, gatebreaker propeller, which is a very popular aluminum yeah. propeller. So if I take that off, you know, that's obviously the speed at which I can take a prop off with yeah. Popa, which we talked about. The interesting thing is that these 3D printed props also fit on the same geometry. So now I just mounted a 3D printed prop yeah, and it's ready to fly. So you're not just take, checking out a new propeller design, but you're also vetting it against your Popo to make sure everything works properly. Yeah, I, you know, we've, people ask how long have you been working on this Popo thing? We've worked on it, Daniel, what, two years almost? Yeah. Long time. It's fun when you look at, you have one frame and then you have all the props that we made that have popo yeah. functionality, right? It's a lot of different props. That's when the system really starts to shine. It's one thing if it's just one motor from one company with one prop from that same company, yeah. but if you have a whole ecosystem of many different props and many different motors, many not different just brands. many different brands, yeah. you know, for popo, HQ is coming out with a prop, Genfan, all the prop companies. It's satisfying to hear the click. Too. The click makes it obvious, you know, yeah. if it, I don't know if your camera can pick it up, but 
it was the click. All right, so we couldn't come all the way down to Florida to see get FPV without doing some actual FPV shenanigans. So today what we have, we have these little tiny buggies made by Team Associated, and Andy has his little tiny whoop. We're gonna go do some shredding through the warehouse. Let's do it. All right, you ready to find I'm me? ready to go, let's go. Let's do it. All right, I'll, be, I'll sit out in the middle here. You tell me we're there. <laughs> you just <laughs> fell off the ledge. Dude, that's awesome. I'm right behind you. You got behind me? All right, what do you say we go ahead and go down some aisles here? I love oh how you gosh. can see the little front of the buggy. <laughs> it looks so cool. So this is actually a little 128th scale. Um, it's actually Austin and I, if you guys haven't checked out our new channel, we're doing a new channel with RC cars oh, called Drive On. <laughs> I have a feeling this is where they I'm pick and pack. They're down there trying to get their job done. There's some little RC robots driving around. <laughs> oh Where'd my you goodness. go, Josh, now? All right, I'm heading down. I'm gonna get to the wall. Do you see me there? He's, he's heading towards the photography thing. Gotcha, let me go back down that way. All right. Facing Dude, off against the cocker, cool. man. Dude, they're busy. There's a lot more people down there now. All Packing right, I orders. I'm right behind you. Whee! I feel honestly like I feel like I'm a little guy in a really big world right now. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy how the little FPV cameras, like with the super wide-angle lens, I, mean, I shrunk the kids. Right? Yeah, yeah, it takes the world and it just makes it massive, like a huge universe to explore. This is how every warehouse should ever be explored. You know? Are you still behind me? <laughs> yep. Wow. All right, where are we, are we in right now? Uh, there's some building there, so we built some RTF drones there, along with some other overstock. Look at that big thing of bubble wrap. That's a lot of boxes. I was actually surprised by these little team associated trucks. Like, they actually have a pretty good top speed. They handle really well. They have a nice resolution servo up there, a little tiny servo. Um, oh, oh, there you are. I saw I'll, a huge I'll drone. You again. Are you on me? I'm on you. Okay. You going right or left? Left. Are you giving it full throttle? No. Oh, I was going to say, I hope it's not dying. My battery's done for. Done for. You down? Where are you? I'm right in the middle. Someone grab me. All right, I'll go on a recon here. He's already walking here. Someone, someone already gobble you up? That was fun. I, I didn't even drive anything and I had fun. Yeah, man. That says you're a lot. Your toys, yeah. yeah. You're, you're, you're converting me slowly. Yeah. And you guys have an amazing warehouse, but also a fun warehouse too, man. This is incredible. What do you say? Let's go. Let's go pick up our carnage and uh, move on. Go get lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 